Now you don't have to follow this video, if you have your own map design in mind then don't worry about it, you can just skip this one. But I'm just going to show you how we can make a map, just a very basic kind of uh, grass, lands type of island. So the first thing I'm going to do is find our base plate. And I'm going to actually make it a bit thinner because it doesn't really need to be this thick. And I'm going to make it a nice green colour, just for grass. There we are, that'll do. I'm then going to change the material to smooth plastic because who doesn't like a bit of smooth plastic? And I'm also going to add in a new part as well. This new part, I'm going to drag it towards the edge of the map. Remember, with uh, my 0.1 studs move tool on, it allows me to kind of align things very perfectly. Or almost perfectly. And just scale it out. Now I'm going to scale this to be the size of one edge of the map. On both sides as well. And you'll see why in a minute like that and then I'm going to bring it out a bit and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go under avatar and add a, add a rig builder so I'm just getting a block rig like so so now we've kind of got a scale of uh, character compared to the size of this wall which if I maybe make this nice kind of brown color so imagine um, that orange and brown like a bit of like a dirt mound kind of and now that we've done that, I can see that is quite big compared to the uh, dummy we've got. So I'm going to just play around with the scale so it's kind of a size that is somewhat respectable. Now that we've done that, we now that I've kind of eyeballed it, we're going to test and play here just to make sure you know it's um, it is suitable. So as you can see, I'm going over here. Yep, yeah, this looks fine to me. That looks like a good height. Alright, now what we need to do is go on, go click on this part and under model we need to anchor it. So by anchoring it, it means when we touch it, the part won't start moving around. It's locked in this world, in its world position. Now what we're going to do, well you guessed correctly, we're going to duplicate it, move it to the other end. Now of course the bigger it is, the harder it is to scale, which is a problem. Oh, I've managed to get it perfect, so there we go. And now I'm not 100% sure if this is a perfect square, it does look like it is, so I'm going to duplicate it again, rotate it by 100, yeah, just by 90 degrees, sorry. Move it over to the centre again, like so, and once again, oh wait, have I done that perfectly again? No, I haven't, I was going to say, that'd be incredible. What I'm going to do this time is just try and get this perfect, one more. That looks perfect to me. Yep, that looks fine. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is scale both ends so they're just touching. So what we can actually do is turn collisions on. So let me uh, shorten this. We can turn collisions on so as soon as it touches the wall, we won't be able to pull it out anymore. So let's uh, stretch this out as far as we can so it's touching both ends of the wall. Just so there's no parts colliding inside each other, which can create quite a lot of problems. It will like, make a little glitchy effect. Now we'll duplicate this again, and drag it over to this end. Now that we've done that, I'm going to grab these four parts, group them, and duplicate them again. And then I'm just going to change each uh, part colour to be like a darker green, like that. And you may be thinking, oh, why are we doing this? Well, we're just going to put grass on top of the dirt, just to make it look a bit nicer. So you're just going to drag it up a tiny bit, and... Here's where we're going to have to model each part individually. So, let's click on a part and go over to it. And we need to scale it. First of all, we don't want it to be colliding with anything. I'm actually going to move these up to... Uh, I'm going to move my move tool to one stud now. And we don't want this to be uh, colliding, so let's just drag it up. Maybe like that, so it's a bit thick. And then we're going to drag it out. If I hold control and drag it out... You'll see it drags it out on both sides. So this just kind of creates a nice um, a grass top to the edge of the uh, little mountain. Let's imagine it's a mountain. Let's click on the next part. And we want to do the exact same thing. Make it the same height. Like that. And out again. Ideally you want to replicate the same on every side. Just so it's uh, perfect. You don't need to worry too much about the outside because, as you obviously, the player won't really, unless they zoom out, they won't really be able to tell. 
So focus more on the inside, that is more important. But of course you do want to pay attention still anyway to what's going on outside the map. So I'm just going to get back to you once I've straightened all these up and I'll see you then. Okay, there we go. I've now got a uh, perfect, I believe it's perfect, sort of play area. Now what I'm going to do is grab the these two models and the base plate, hit Control G or Command G to group them again, and I'm going to rename this model, and I will call it uh, Island, or just Island 1, yeah, like that, in words rather than numbers. We may uh, change this in the future, I don't know. Uh, we'll see kind of later in the series, we may rename the island, maybe make some adjustments to it, so we've got kind of areas to jump around and whatnot. But for now this will do, and then we've got our spawn pad here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make maybe six of these, just so we've got a couple jotted around. Under each one I'm going to remove the decal, because we don't need that. I'm also going to make this island one, make sure it's all anchored, this island one group. Select these spawn locations and drag them where I want them to be. So let's say for now, let's just put them all here. So along here, I'm just going to stack them on top of each other so I know the right where they all are. And then what I will do is I'm going to move every time by 10 studs. No, I'm not by 100 studs. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to move it by 50 studs. There we are. That will do. And then each time, just so they're a bit more distant apart. And I kind of want to spread them out around here. Once I've done that, I'm going to turn off the move tool, turn collisions on. Just so I can flatten all of these to the floor. Turn collisions back off. Oh, I have forgotten one actually. Whoops. Let's turn the move tool back on. Back off. And anyway, position your spawns however you want them to be. I'm just uh, do it, just kind of eyeballing this now. And then try and center it. That looks about right. Grab all these spawn locations, group them. And I'll just rename it to spawn. And then what I'm going to do is under each spawn location, I'm going to turn off can collide so the player isn't t uh, standing on top of them directly when uh, they spawn in. And I'm also going to make them transparent. So now when we hit play, we're going to spawn on kind of a transparent uh, spawn pad. So let me restart the uh, game again because I keep getting this problem where it's just a grey screen. And it does get on my nerves. There we are, it's finally loaded. You'll see we didn't spawn because I clicked play here and not play. So let's click play. And we'll see we should spawn on one of the pads. And we do. The pads are about here, I believe. Let us let me uh, just double check that. Yep, I'm stood on one of the pads. That is fine. Awesome. So, everyone, I hope you found this video helpful. Just for a rough guide of a map design. We'll go more in depth later in the series. But for now, I hope you found this video helpful. Please leave a like and subscribe if you did. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.